My problem was <laughs> I I got successful in radio after I was married. So when I got married, I was a sheet metal worker making shit money, and then never think why. What am I gonna? Well, um, uh, I need a prenuptial agreement so she can't get my tin snips and hammer. You should have sued her for the 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 self-esteem that you gave her because she married you thinking you was just going to be a fucking scumbag steel worker your whole life and her fucking uh, uh, her dreams went up when you decided that when when this fell into your lap it's like you should have brought Opie into this too you to don't think all this was brought up just in the fucking, le law offices I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a goofy ass steel worker everything was brought I had my friends that were ready to be subpoenaed my close friends of years including Adam Ferrara and uh, I was going to be subpoenaed. Joe Curry you I talked they were to all going to come in to testify that I I was a funny guy even before I knew her cuz there was a claim that she like was very responsible for his for his my career yes yeah, just amazed, amazed being funny amazed me it's where like, I sat I'm like, I'm like what ah, wait a minute I but what the f but I but I made people laugh when I was like five. <laughs> That's what I she did. She sued you for your funniness? My funniness. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how divorce works. The guy gets fucked. You are entering in a contract. If it was a business contract, any lawyer would tell you to run for your life. But for some reason, guys feel free to sign away their careers, half their earnings and everything, based on, on nothing. Gooch! Mr. Comia, can you please tell me when your wedding anniversary is? Oh, yeah, that was great. They asked me that on the stand. Now, this is... The, i got to hear your answer. Dude, the worst part of this whole thing, too, was... The worst part of the whole deal was... And I know we've been through this, but there are some new listeners, so the old listeners, just bear with me on this one. Uh, Dominic is, uh, like I said, a very a very good divorce attorney. Right. I, hate to, I hate to plug him, give him a plug like that, right. but... The guy knows his shit. He knows how to get. So on the first day I am to take the stand, I look at the gallery, and there is a New York Post and a Daily News reporter there. Now, I am suspect that they were called and brought in because some of the testimony could be extremely You're on the radio now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, you know, we had, uh, uh, oh, we were rocking. we're at our peak, man. We are really rocking. We are meeting with our agent, and numbers are going around that are head spinning. So yeah, I'm we're at our peak on terrestrial radio. Uh, and there's the Daily News and the Post uh, reporters are in there, and they start asking all kinds of questions. And one of them is, uh, uh, Mr. Kumia, uh, when is your wedding anniversary date? And I was <sighs> so flustered. <laughs> I was, that was me. I'm like, this is in the transcripts, by the way. I, uh, not only the transcripts, oh, the oh, yeah. mumble, mumble, mumble. Not only in the transcripts, Thought, it was in the post in the Daily News. <laughs> the next day. Stutter. When uh, Mr. Kumia was asked what his wedding anniversary was, he could not remember. I knew it was either March 19th or May 19th, because March 19th, growing up, was very important to me because it was Swallows Day in San Juan Capistrano, and I used to live there, and it was a big to-do and parade Isn't and everything. That great? He said March 18th or May 18th. Or May, but I had no clue, <laughs> and I just the, said... the whole month. It wasn't... It wasn't it's either February 19th see, or September 3rd. No. I had no idea, so I just went, I don't know, I don't know, and there was like... Mr. Comia didn't even remember what his wedding anniversary was. Oh, and neither does nine out of ten motherfuckers in in this world. So they start asking. Uh, so Dominic starts asking about like sexual stuff, and now I'm like, oh shit. I go, uh, Your Honor, um, I'd like to have a conference, please. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was me and the ex out in the hallway. I'm like, okay. All right, what do you want? <laughs> what do you need? But what was the fear? Was sexual stuff on what level? What, what did you do or the lack of? Uh, they, you know, just uh, certain things that might be brought up that, they, you know, it could have been uh, me and my wife. And then there could have been uh, another girl there. And <laughs> they could, uh, oh, you cheated there on There could have been things going on, Patrice. Let's just <laughs> leave it at there could have been things. Answer the question, Mr. Kumia. All right, I had some side pussy. <laughs> there could have been things that didn't want to be brought up. I rest my case. Three boys. Dun, dun, dun.
So at that point, looking at the Daily News and the Post guy, who are now salivating, there's foam coming out of their mouths. They're so happy. Um, I, I, I settled out. I went in, right, asked what right you wanted. Right the cheating shit. He tapped yeah. out. He I tapped, tapped out. out. I was like an extreme fucking fight. Tapped out. I was you in the octagon. The lawyer threw in the towel. Tapped oh, out. Fuck, why tapped didn't you out. lie? You should have said, but we did it. You should have said y'all were swingers or y'all did threesomes. You should have fucking lied. There was no proof. No proof that you didn't. There's enough shit that it was enough where I just said enough. Enough was enough. You scared me, motherfucker. You could have looked. What, you, damn it, Dude, man. No, because even after all that, nothing's guaranteed in a divorce. The judge could come back and have given her more money than I have to give her or less. Could work out. You just don't know. So when I asked, it was just me and her finally after three years, it was just me and her in the hallway. Ham it out a deal. That I was okay with. Well, she, she, she had like a toothpick hanging out of her mouth like, no. All right, mm. what? What you That's what do you good. propose, pussy ass That's nigga? That's good. I saw mm. you tap out. Mm -hmm. What you what 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 are you going to offer me that I ain't going to take? <laughs> <laughs> I can't just get. Yeah, I mean, what you going to give me, motherfucker? Because I was just going to take it all. What you going to offer me less than all? <laughs> what was also bothering me was the fact that <laughs> I had to pay her lawyer. So I wanted that to stop as quickly as possible. How in God's name do they make you pay the fucking lawyer? Isn't that amazing? It's the law. It's That's New York it State. That's how it is in New That's York. how it is. The guy gets reamed up the ass. Oh, this bitch I'm with, she's in deep, deep trouble. She's, she's going to be my girlfriend for Any the rest of my guy life. getting married out there needs a prenup. I don't care if you're a plumber's assistant. And you're making nine bucks an hour. And there's no going against the prenup, because that seems like something that lawyers could probably work work around. Yep. You need a prenup. The I don't care what you do, because you never know where you're going to be. The phone's just exploded, and there were some great calls. Oh, you mean like uh, bad exploded? Yeah. Yeah. Like there was a guy saying he's on his third marriage. How? How do these guys... It's loneliness. How? It's 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 a thing. It's a lonely thing. It's a self-esteem thing for oh. you to think. Look, marriage is a one-time thing. Why not have fifty girlfriends? Then you say, I'm gonna take this chance. Maybe, like you know, it's gonna take at least ten years of me being a woman for ten straight years for me to go. You know what? You've been through enough. And it, it would have to be the shit I put her through. Yeah. To get her to the point where you go, you know, she deserves at least to get a chunk of me. <laughs> Because I took a chunk of this bitch for 10 years, took some good years from her, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe gave her a kid, maybe not, whatever, gave her a little bit. Of, but you know what? At least I can give her a marriage. I can at least give her that fucking... Because, you know, a marriage to a woman, if you ask a woman what marriage is, you think she would go, it's a, it's a union between two in front of God, and it makes us legitimate in the eyes of the Lord Jesus Christ. No, it's It's security. The bitch just wants to be able, in case you die, to, uh -huh. ke to continue to live and get money. Right. It's something, it's a, it's, it's investment. And it's like, you know what? You'll get that when you fucking deserve it. Mm -hmm. And if you ask a lot of guys, man, their wife don't deserve, it's just they, they pussy motherfuckers get pushed up in the corner to that whole shit or get off the pot thing. Yep. But I, you're taking away my good years. You did it. He's like, I'm not ready to marry you yet. I'm not ready to marry you. You can go, fu you know what you can go do? Find another husband, and that's very hard to do because a man is a lottery ticket. You know what I mean? It, it, it really is. That's why women are in a rush because they like, look, lottery ticket. If you ain't a winner, I need to scratch you, see if the shit is bullshit, <laughs> right? Uh, and then go try to find another lottery ticket. That's really. That's hard. why they want to get married over a year or two. You're a t you, you're a, you're a scratch ticket, and it's like you're not a look. It, if you ain't gonna marry me, man, this ticket's no good. I, it, it is an expert. You don't want to leave it unscratched Unsc in the glove compartment it, for that long. Exactly. Yeah. And then they go, if you don't do it, then I gotta go start playing a lottery again yeah. because they don't have uh, their own skill base to like go and get a man yeah. and make him want to marry her. And the older you the girl gets. It's not like she's getting the set for life tickets anymore. Exactly. She's getting those little, you know, you win two bucks here, five bucks there. <laughs> it's 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 a it's athlete. It, women have to look at themselves as athletes. It's 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 an age. There is an age thing. There, you know, like I said, you come into the basketball league when you're 19, you can jump over everybody, you can run fast than everybody. But when you get 30, man, you cannot. The games you play, you have to learn different skills. You have to learn a little stutter step. You have to learn how to cheat. You have to learn how to outdo. But if you're trying to be 35-year-old woman and you try to run 
with LeBron James and you try to run with Kobe Bryant, you're going to lose and your age is going to show. So you have to learn skill levels over the years, and they never do. That, that Your wife, you're doing better. You got you learn. You got a happier situation. Mm -hmm. You are happy despite paying her, and she's miserable because she she doesn't have the skills to get another guy. She never. She's not gonna find another guy. Find another guy that's gonna put up with her. Is the lottery? How many people will hit the right. lottery fucking twice? Twice in their life. You understand? Mm -hmm. Just none. So you is it? Listen to what happened to John. John. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Hey. A friend of mine uh, got a loan right out of college, took all the money, and built a house. He literally designed it from the ground up and went over there and worked on it every night after he got out of work. So he gets married a couple years later. His wife moves into his house. He comes home from work one night, finds his wife in his bed with another guy. She files for divorce from him. First thing the judge does is tells him, my friend, to get out of the house. Get out the house. Yep. So the Our woman house. naturally moves in with the dude. And uh, in the and, and by the way, my friend has to pay all the bills the whole time. He's got to pay the mortgage. He's got to pay all the uh, all the utilities. So this bastard can live in his house that mm -hmm. he built with his his still current wife at that point. Divorce gets settled. Naturally, the woman gets the you know gets the house, moves in with the guy, of course, and um, they got uh, busted out. They couldn't pay the mortgage. Couldn't pay anything. They moved back in with this dude's mom. And so the ex-wife and the the you know the oh. guy are living with the mom. And his house is up on the market, the one that he built. Broke. Yep, totally. Wow. Great. Everybody's broke, right? My you go he, from he didn't even want it anymore after during the divorce because he couldn't even, even afford to pay the bills. Go anymore. from starting out young guy trying to be successful to being broke. broke. I had a, I had a, I was renting a house in Huntington. Thank God I didn't own a house, and thank God we didn't have kids. That's the two things that are like. Thank you, God. Or there would be uh, a connection forever. Yeah, forever. So uh, we had a house out in Huntington, Long Island. And after the $40,000 thing happened, I'm like, there's no way I'm going to now call her up and ask her for my possessions in the house. Right. Because those things are now hostage uh, that can be used to negotiate. I didn't have a lot of things, but there were some, some things I wanted, my computer equipment, uh, a few toys, little things like that. So I waited till she was gone one day, uh, went to the back door, smashed the little window out, and uh, crawled through there and got my stuff, loaded it into the truck. But uh, here's the kind of criminal I am. Here's the kind of bad uh, guy I am. I swept the glass up, <laughs> sealed the hole back up so the cats wouldn't get out, and left a note. <laughs> <laughs> and she was pretty much raping him at the I thought. should have left the cat hanging on the <laughs> shower curtain rod. You did the right thing. It, you did the right... The, the, the one weapon against women that men don't have to understand, the, the one secret weapon is not to care. Even if you mm. do, you pretend like the guy who finds his wife fucking in the bed, you go, you go, whew, thank God you did this. Now I can get out of this whole situation. Oh, the not you care. All, you all, it's, it, it, it may f backfire from time to time, but hey, you're fucking another guy? Oh my God, thank God I was waiting for you to get some more dick so I could leave you. It's just, <laughs> they can't, <laughs> they can't function when you don't have a drop of feeling about them. When you don't have a, uh, like, if you had a gone, oh, thanks, sweetie. You know what? I should have did this before. You deserve more. I'm just going to give you what the courts give you. But it, it, it really, it's costing me less in my soul than it is paying you. So it's like, freeze my soul. You can have the money. Enjoy your life. Yeah. And I could just get me another woman that I'm happy with. Woo! Thank you, Pumpkin, and for being a like cunt. A, a, <laughs> ah, <laughs> let's go to Doug out, Doug. Doug! What's going on? Hey, Patrice. Yeah, I, I kind of did something like that. I didn't involve the court or anything. When my uh, ex-wife confronted me with the pictures of uh, me leaving the hotel room with my current girlfriend, um, wow. she just looked at me in the eyes and said, we can work things out, baby, if you just sign these papers. As I signed the papers, she never, ever went to a single counseling session with me. She took me for everything, and I was a crushed, broken man. Jesus. And, and, you and, then I, and, 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 and I gave the excuse. It was great. I gave the excuse when she asked me just what I was doing in the hotel room because she had a private eye follow me. 
Um, I told her that we were both tired during work, so we went and laid down uh, at a hotel room during a lunch break. I laid, I, I laid in her pussy. <laughs> and I fully expected I her to believe I had arrested it. somewhere. Uh, <laughs> as well. A, Why is your face smelling warm, like a safe vagina? Place. Oh, I just fell asleep right on my face, right on her pussy. <laughs> I needed a warm, safe place for uh, my dick. Uh, let's go to Megan in Boston. Megan. Hey, how are you? All right. I need to know how Anthony met this little charming douchebag. Wow, jeez. <laughs> a little harsh. That's oh, oh, the ex? The ex-wife? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, God, I, it was this through my really brother. Bad? Yeah. That's who you have to blame for that? Yeah, she was like banging my brother. Or something. <laughs> this was your brother's fucking My side? brother's throwaway. Your second? Your brother's second? You yeah. envious motherfucker. I don't, it, you was covered in, though, while he was fucking it, though, right? She was looking real hot. No. Even her drunkness no, was hot I when your brother was swear fucking Where do you know? No. It just wasn't like that. You, you got to know not to marry a chick that would do I, that, dude. Somehow, I didn't know shit back then. I was stupid. I was stupid. How old, was you, how old was you back then? Physically or mentally, I was, <laughs> okay. I was about you know, just entering my thirties. I guess I was still late tw late twenties, yeah. But you know, I was still you know with me, my brother, and our band thinking you know we were going to be the next rock stars and just working just enough to make enough money to have it crumpled up in my pocket for the bar and you know. So I wasn't Mr. Responsibility. I thought being married would boost me to the next level, where I would then kind of become like an adult because I still no matter where I went I was a kid yeah you know my mother and all of her crowd that she hung out with at, at the bar she was tending at like I would go there and I was always the kid I'm like I'm almost 30 and I'm still like hey it's Rosie's kid you know I was like when am I not going to be a kid and I thought maybe that would propel me to this uh, level to of adulthood. manhood right, adulthood right. Uh, Chuck Albany what's up Hey, O&A. Hey. Patrice, you kick ass, man. Hey, file for divorce in March real quick, fellas. Uh, paternity test in April. Test came back on my two kids, found out they weren't mine in June. I have to pay that con 684 bucks weekly. Weekly. For child support on kids that aren't even New York, his, sure. biologically. New York state law, man. New York state law wants those kids after the age of four years old, man. That's it. You're fucked. You gotta pay till they're eighteen or till they finish college. They for for kids in. that ain't yours. For kids that ain't mine, and I filed for the divorce and was granted a divorce due to. Uh, you know who's uh, writing a, a book on this whole divorce in New York thing is Alec Baldwin. He's had it. Oh, that must He's boy, jumping yeah. up and down all over the place. Man, he it's, hates uh, fucking Kim Basinger. Yeah, he but he fucking. But he's exposing her. all this stuff we're talking about in a book. He's going to get a lot of attention because of the book too. He's going to talk about the system, the lawyers, all that shit. Well, it, something needs to clean up, man. Because I filed, I got granted a divorce on uh, adultery and fucking mental cruelty, and she still got that cat. Wait, do you love the kids though? Yeah, I love the kids, but goddamn, I'm... <laughs> but he doesn't love them that much. <laughs> that goddamn says it. Uh, I love them enough to maybe get them some ice cream every once in a while, and, and they can go to Toys R Us for a toy, but... <laughs> I'll take them to Disney on Ice uh, once a year, but fuck. <laughs> I love them, but I don't love them. Love them. That's right. Fuck that. It's 24%. I started putting cancer in their food. <laughs> All right, Chuck. Hey, guys, hey. Hey, you guys kick ass, man. Yeah, we know that. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah. No, 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 thanks, Chuck. We appreciate it. Let's go to Danny in Jersey. Danny. Hey, guys. You guys are awesome. Patrice, you rock. Listen, I got to thank Anthony real quick. Got out of a divorce, 2500 bucks, no alimony. Jeez. But, oh, Jersey's the best. Listen, guys, check this out. Anthony. Yeah. No bullshit. Hooked up with this Puerto Rican chick, right? Not sure. I haven't played the game in a very long time. I have to go home now to the wife, the ex to be. I'm saying to myself, my hand smell like cunt like you wouldn't believe. Figuring the shit out of her all night. What do I do? I use that spare tire in the back that I blew out, rub brake dust all over my shirt, and straight to the shower. <laughs> straight to the shower. Don't come near me. Oh, I'm filthy. Uh, I, oh, don't come near me.